What's up, what's up, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Chris Lee TV, back again with an update video. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of uh, interviews for the podcast. Um, I actually put every episode of that, of our, of the uh, Financial Trucker for pot or <laughs> the Financial Trucker podcast. I've uploaded every episode uh, onto all of the podcast streaming platforms. So if you're driving, you know, you need something to listen to, make sure you check out the Financial Trucker uh, podcast, you know, um, we are, like I said, I, I've updated every, every episode that's on the YouTube channel. You can listen to it if you can't, you know, I know everybody can't always watch the, uh, you know, YouTube while they're driving, but now it's on Apple, it's on Spotify, it's on all those anchor, all the podcast platforms. You can listen to it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get your, get your, some knowledge dropped on you and you know what I'm saying? Still drive the truck. Um, with that being said, in this video, as you can see by the title, I want to talk about what's next for Chrisley TV. What's next for me, um, as as my with my life outside of the truck. Um, so I've still been talking to a lot of my trucker friends. Like I guess I, those are like the the friends I have right now in life. Um, all of my friends are I guess scattered across the United States. Uh, some of them are getting out of the truck. Some are still in the truck. You know. It's kind of a like a kind of that time where people are going local and people are just doing different things, which is cool. But we've all built that relationship up, um, just like the relationship I have with you guys on this channel. We've been doing this since 2017, so I appreciate everybody for rocking with me. But I'm gonna keep doing interviews. You know, what I'm saying I'm seeing the numbers going up. I appreciate you guys watching and listening, and um, I'm gonna keep creating content. So that's why I wanted to make this video because. I wanted to actually sit down with you guys and actually talk about kind of what's going on. Uh, so since I've been out of the truck, um, I've been, you know, seeing the chiropractor. I've been going twice a week to the chiropractor, except for last week, we had this crazy winter storm in Texas where it was like, I saw on the roads and stuff like that for like a week, it was snowing and everything got shut down. The schools, work, all that stuff was shut down. Um, I'm not working yet. That's one of the things I do want to talk about, um, but I'm seeing progress going to the chiropractor. Um, hopefully without, with me not going last week, not too much is like gotten out of alignment, but we'll see once I go back. Um, like I said, I go twice a week, but so we'll see once I go back. I'm actually, um, I've been looking for a job, like when I got out the truck, I was looking for a job. Uh, I think like while the two months while that truck was down, I had started kind of looking for other things to kind of bring money money into the, my household. Um, if you guys have watched my older videos, I did get my insurance adjusting license when I got out of what was it when I left Jordan Carriers. I had some time between the next job, so between Jordan and Blair Logistics. Um, I went ahead and I got my insurance adjuster license out here in Texas. Um, recommended by someone from Twitter, um, a very nice woman. She pointed me in the right direction. Uh, so I went ahead and got my insurance adjuster license. Um, I'll talk about that more in the uh, the interview I did with Matt, um, how he leveraged his CDL to get his insurance adjuster license. Um, that was a good interview. If you haven't checked that out, if you're interested in figuring out what to do, um, you know, uh, after you get out of the truck or if you're looking to get out of the truck and still want to make pretty good money, um, it's not easy, but you know, it's definitely worth it looking into getting that insurance adjuster license. So I started thinking about putting that to work while I was, um, out of the truck for those two months. I started putting in applications. I got a resume put together, uh, using Canva. I started putting it out to these different um, companies and you know somebody called me back and they I did the interview it was uh, over like it was a, it was a little process but I did the interviews um, and I actually got hired uh, to work as a um, claims uh, specialist or associate uh, in autom automotive in the automotive department so I think that's really good that I was able to land on my feet um, coming out of the truck because it's hard to find a job when you have that skill, that CDL, they have license. Um, when you have that license, it's hard to find a job that's going to compete with it. 
as far as making the money that you make in that truck, um, the lifestyle that you're used to. Um, I know that I did have some lifestyle creep. I'm not going to lie. I, I, you know, it's like, why do you make more money um, without, you know what I'm saying, bettering yourself? A lot of things I did, you know what I'm saying, with uh, courses, books, just a lot of stuff I worked on as far as internal, mentally. Um, I did start working out. I think that I'm going to get back into it. I'll talk about that later in this video. But a lot of the money I used from trucking, you know, was to better myself mentally and to get prepare myself for if I ever had to get out of the truck. I think I did very good uh, doing that. I think, you know, with all of the talks I had with Eric, um, as if you guys know Eric, uh, me and him just have really good conversations about, you know, life and just providing and um, bettering ourselves. So, you know, the conversations we had with credit and things like that, I was able to get my credit score the way it, where it needed to be to um, take advantage of a lot of things. Um, and I can talk about that more um, once I do start making more videos like this. Um, but like I said, all 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 of the, all of the things I was able to take advantage of started with my CDL. Everything started with the CDL. Um, you know, my life really changed, and it and it and it, and it better. I was you know, a better person. Um, once I got that CDL and I started to put my head on straight, I stopped smoking, uh, um, you know what I'm saying, and doing just irresponsible things. Um, everything changed. So this is the, you know, the person that I am now. I wish that, you know, I had a better physical situation with my back injury and all that. But, I mean, it is what it is. Um, there are trade-offs in life and that's the one thing uh the hand i was dealt so now you know i just have to roll with that um so yeah i started the job at the end of this month which is dope um you know like i said i landed i got out of the truck and i landed on my feet um which i'm really happy about because um i don't know what else i would have done but i'm just happy i had like the thought process of getting something you know said always having like a backup plan always a b or c or whatever I know people always say well, like we're gonna rock with A, but obviously um, A is not always the one you can rock with. So I do recommend you know just thinking about that if you're a CDO driver, thinking about like what you want to do. I always say like the CDO is a stepping stone, like leverage the CDO to get into other things. I have my notary license, you know, I have the insurance adjuster license, I have like YouTube that I started while I was truck driving to bring in revenue. I have the financial planner for truckers. Like I made sure to just like, you know, use my brain and use like, you know, make sure that I, I didn't just end up in a situation where I just felt helpless. Like I don't want to feel that. I always want to make sure that I can provide for my family. Um, so it's, talking about family, I've been spending a lot of time with my family. My son just turned 13. Um, so um, like I plan to do like a lot more activities with my family once I start working. Um, Right now, I really need to just get on a schedule. Um, I think that would help a lot with like life. I've just been, you know, just kind of chilling. I'm not gonna lie. Being out of the truck, I've just been really relaxing and enjoying myself. I did do some Uber um, to, you know what I'm saying, bring some money in. And, you know, I've been putting out videos and just making, I've been, I'm trying to live the life I wanna live. Um, hopefully the job doesn't, uh, you know, take away too much from that. Um, but, I, you know, I don't think it'll be hard to just adjust to that, to the, the what is it, nine to five life, lifestyle. Now that I have like a, a better understanding of finances and how I want to do things on my end, as far as um, just, like I said, I want to spend more time with my family. I want to make sure that I have time to do like the things that I want to do. I'm actually looking to, um, you know, start working out again. I haven't been working out because I, I've been kind of like unsure with the whole back situation, but I'm looking to do 75 hard. I want to start getting into doing yoga. I just found, follow, followed this channel, um, this yoga channel on YouTube. So I want to start doing yoga and, you know, start stretching and stuff like that because I don't want to just sit around and, um, you know, I want my back to get stronger. 
and I want to get back to be able to do things that I did before I have um, I knew about kind of what was going on with my back um, but you know I want to do the 75 hard I already started kind of planning out I think a lot of things uh, like with this thing like with 75 hard I know it's a hard thing to do but I think the more I plan for it then I'll, I'll, I'll kind of know like okay like this is what I'm eating I have to drink a, a gallon of water every day um, what else is with 75 heart um, the rules are you have to work out twice a day for 45 minutes so I'm thinking I'm gonna buy a bike and I'm going to have that as one workout and then do a, like yoga and I'll like figure out stuff along the way um, because it's what 75 so it's like two months and some change um, then like for following a diet I think I'm gonna do um, I'm already do on a vegan diet, but I kind of want to try the alkaline diet. I want to try and like remove some of the, the uh, inflammatory things and the junk food that I eat. Um, drinking a gallon of water is part of the 75 hard read 10 pages per day. Um, I already bought a book. I want to really uh, kind of just put my mindset on growing my content, making more content, honing on those content creation skills. Um, so my first book that I'm going to read is about YouTube. I think I'm going to get into like some email marketing, uh, type of content, like books and things to read just so I can provide a better service, provide better, you know what I'm saying? Resources for people. I've had people requesting resources from me that I don't have. And, you know, I should have them because, uh, the platform and the content that I create, I just want to provide like more helpful things for people. Um, and taking progress pics, I'm going to do probably like a daily vlog on TikTok um, and just upload like the shorts, you know, from like the TikTok or whatever content I create. Because with 75 Heart, you have to take pictures every day. So I'm going to do like a daily vlog of something real quick, like a couple second video showing what I did. I might have to get a GoPro. I might, I might have to get a bike. Um, but I want to go ahead and like let you guys know what's coming. Um, and I think that's it for this video. Thank you for tuning in. If you have not subscribed and you made it this far in the video, hit the subscribe button. Uh, join me on this new journey in life. Um, feel free to check out the 75 heart, you know, and think about doing it with me. You know, I want to start after the Super Bowl um, with a couple of the, my trucker friends and we'll see how far I get. I think I will be able to, to complete it if I plan properly. So I'm going to just plan out for the next couple of days. Um, what I'm like, how I'm going to eat, how I'm going to do this, what do that and still work at the same time. Um, I want to give my all to this insurance adjusting stuff because I know like there's a bag over there. Like all I see on my timeline on Twitter, I, I follow mainly insurance adjusters. I listen to content on YouTube about insurance adjusting because I'm trying to now put my head and dive deep into that. Like I did with trucking, like I, I dove deep into trucking. I feel like I've networked a lot met a lot of dope people and you know this is the next uh you know the next step for chris lee tv i'm still going to provide resources for truck drivers i'm still going to do the financial trucker uh podcast i think that's a great resource um if you haven't make sure you subscribe to that on any platform that you're listening to your podcast on but i'm going to go ahead and end this video appreciate you guys deuces